you can get away with this kind of commentary towards like the top eight, top yeah. top parts of the weekly. To to bed. I'll be right back. Sometimes it's good to practice building a little bit of suspense, you know? Because as, as much as I'm a, like a game knowledge nerd, uh, the thing that people really seem to like in commentary is narrative stuff. Oh, you were talking about commentary? Oh, you were talking about the loss? Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Okay. Uh, we are back, of course. Down throw up air going to take it. Catching that DI in from Big Chungus. Nice and decently early kill. Uh, the Eha not going to take it from Big Chungus and... Playing at a little bit of a deficit now, got to be careful. Pfeiffer doing a really good job of just harassing with guns, with Eha, with some really good ledge trapping as well. Making it really difficult for Chungus to find any space. Find time to get stone tools though. Can we use that time to get some iron as well? Immediately threatening to run to the other side of the stage with some blocks. Up smash. Just about falls in. Almost got out. Even when I'm out, you still spreading false information. I'm sorry, I didn't beat it. Oh, great Rebels Guard in that situation, knowing that it wasn't true, betting on it. Of course, Steve's don't really go for grabs in frame traps like that because the grab is so bad. But maybe they should. Maybe they should go for down throw in that situation to beat a Rebels Guard or a shield. Because it's not reactable. Like, it's bad, but it's not... It's not reactable bad, surely. Oh, great recovery mix up from Big Chungus. Pfeiffer just unable to deal with it. Big Chungus sitting on gold tools, trying to make the most of it. Able to live that counter. But uh, gets caught on neutral getup with the F tilt. Nice little pivot cancel there from Pfeiffer. Now that Pfeiffer's got the lead, things can get a little bit better for them. Again, just trying to harass. I love that little tether cancel mix up, but no double jump now. Starting to use down guns a little bit more. So that's why the platforms actually kind of benefit Chungus a bit. That was a terrible angle. Very, 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 very poor decision from Big Chungus as Viper takes full advantage and calls it out. Just seemed a little bit too obvious, a little bit too telegraphed. They're gonna be maybe a bit disappointed with that. Looking back at the VOD, sitting at 78 now due to the Arsen that they have given Pfeiffer. Down smash now. Pfeiffer really starting to roll with this momentum. Oh, and again, still the only person that can really get around Big Chungus' zoning and get around these block placements, harass Big Chungus enough to make sure that these mats just don't come for them. And game one of Losers Finals goes to fight for, and it is the story of the last set. I guess I make it back just in time. These two are both Swedish. Do you think they've played a lot? What? These fight two. and Chungus? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Let me double check. I know Scandinavia have their own region lot Wi-Fi tournaments. They probably uh, have some secret Swedish server that they are constantly labbing in. Oh, Pfeiffer went to Dakomi. I didn't realize. Pfeiffer went positive at Dakomi too. Uh, some decent wins though. Anyway, here we go with game number two. have my coffee you might be like why are you drinking coffee at 10 10 p.m to which i say we have big chungus sitting in loser sides potentially heading into grands i see extreme game 10 potential <laughs> yeah that's a, that's a good idea i am um, i had a friend that od'd on 
So we did a Red Bull event this weekend. And they were, you know, they were handing out free Red Bull, right? Uh, and I had a friend who went as a competitor. And uh, he drank 15 cans of Red Bull in a day. How did they survive? They, uh, barely. And I mean that literally, like they OD'd on caffeine. Yeah, that's like five heartbeats for the price of one just in a single can. That's, uh, yeah, it's, wow. I mean, th look, the, the Red Bull was nice, but I, I I never had an urge to have 15. I'm only laughing okay, so about this because I, I know they're okay now. I used to work <laughs> at I used to work at Starbucks, and there were certain you know there were certain coffees that we weren't allowed to sell in certain sizes because it was not legally permissible. <laughs> Damn. Because of the caffeine content, 15 Red Bulls. <laughs> Lucky 15 to Red be Bull. alive. Yeah, literally. And do you know the funny thing? The next day he had three, and the day after that he had two. Oh my goodness. Probably trying to like deal with the headache, I can un- uh, even still, come on now. Yeah, no, uh, so obviously today, after realizing, because this happened on Saturday. Like this is coming from me, Mr. Went four to, like, to five hospital. coffees a day. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, uh, the only reason I'm laughing about this is because he's okay now. Um, he did go to like, a &E, which, you know, lucky for us is free. Uh, is that so... the emergency room? <laughs> Yeah, accident and emergency. Okay. Of. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Like, I've been trying to cut back on my caffeine because I'm concerned with my intake. Because I'm like four coffees a day at this point. Look, working at Starbucks has completely ruined me. <laughs> That's fair. I have not been able to recover ever since. <laughs> up smash out a shield from Pfeiffer. And whilst we've been talking, you know, Pfeiffer's been hopped up on something. A little yeah, bit of caffeine kidding. of their own, just rushing Chungus down and giving them no real time. They finally got their diamonds up in that last stock. But the fact they've only played one stock with diamond when they normally play two is a big deal. Just about living there. Five staying alive through that TNT with that Arsene is out. Still holding on to that first stock. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow, the call out and yet no punish just read his soul right there and left it open and these two are actually 50 50 in terms of sets by the way i just checked interesting okay most of their meetings are offline too i assume that they've got a lot of experience fighting each other yeah yeah okay there we go fivery's first stock is gone but chungus oh feeding feeding that gauge the rebellion gauge See, I remembered what it's called this time. <laughs> yeah. Pfeiffer doing a really good job. Fully in control. The kill option master is out. And it comes into play immediately. The dash attack overshoot going to catch Big Chungus. Trying to jump right back into the corner. And that is game two. And that was really, really clean from Pfeiffer. Like, that was extremely destructive and they 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 know something we don't about chungus i feel they these two have played so much that there's like a, a certain download and what's really interesting about the set record actually is that uh at uh is that it was initially pfeiffer then big chungus won then at dortmund uh corona season two pfeiffer won at the next two or three Smash Nardos, it was all Big Chungus in Grands and Winners Finals, so best of five sets. But the last three sets they played, Pfeiffer's won. So they've kind of gone back and forth figuring each other out, and now it seems like it's Pfeiffer's turn to really uh, take advantage and adapt to Chungus' playstyle and to this matchup. Alright, there's that big ladder, and with that, Pfeiffer is being brought to 57%. Yeah, unable to hit the block cancel, so only 57 instead of a potential 80. But uh, still pretty damn good. However, you hit 70, the big boy comes out to play. Gotta be very, very careful. Down or up smash on PS2 is a destructive move. Oh, the drag down as well. Not going to kill just yet, though. <laughs> There's that counter. Pfeiffery has not taken a hit since Arsene came out. 
Yeah, Chung is so scared to engage. Arsene jab? Yeah. Did not know that kills, but yep. I guess it's an Arsene move, so why not? Only it does. <laughs> yeah, baiting that out really smart from both of them, actually. Smart from Pfeiffer to bait out the jabs coming out of the blocks, and smart from Chungus to bait out that Rebel's guard. To fill up the Rebellion gauge? To fill up the Rebellion gauge. I'm just trying of to like, I'm just trying to reinforce that name into my brain because I've never bothered to actually learn what it was called. <laughs> of course, it's called the Rebellion Gauge. That's the most Persona-sounding thing ever. I don't even like play Persona, and I know that's because I—it's like a Smash original mechanic, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't play five. The only one I played is four. I haven't played any of them. Oh, four is very good. I, I really should play five sometime. I do own it. I just haven't played it. Joker's low dash actually is something I forgot about, but he can just get under one block high stuff. Which like a lot of characters can't do that. <laughs> Chungus is just coming in swinging. He's just like, I, I don't want to be behind anymore. I want to be in the lead so I can get him. This <laughs> is not fair. Back air is not going to do it. Yeah, raw back air without our send does take a while to kill. One of Joker's late kill options. Fishing for that gold pickaxe. Or uh, axe, rather. And oh, our gets our set. Yeah, gets our set exactly when he needs a recovery mix up. <laughs> very, very clutch. that back here. So, with that, Fivery currently sitting two stocks to one. One game away from moving on into Grand's. This is Big Chungus's tournament stock, unless we see some ridiculous levels of adaptation. You know, these two have gone game five a lot, but neither of them have 3-0'd the other in their entire set record. This could be Fivery's most destructive win yet. Alright, there's Diamond. Ooh, tried to go for the pickaxe. But just not connecting inches away. Okay, just a little bit further and further away. But it's it's so difficult for Chungus to try and find this kill. Finally corners Pfeiffer with some good movement and takes advantage with a sour spot fair. With the, I think fair just on ground of the opponents has a different knock back angle. Oh no, here comes the jab combos. Edge is out. Just about. I think Rage just being a bit too much. Spiral guns gonna hopefully get Pfeiffer off, but Big Chungus is mounting a comeback here. Potentially, brink, yes. Yeah, from the brink of defeat. Our sin is almost out though, right when Pfeiffer is gonna need it. I love that upbeat into the minecart to make it as difficult to punish as possible. Great disadvantage from Big Chungus, but it's not necessarily going to be enough, or is it? There goes Diamond Sword. Sends out to play. Yeah, just waiting and going for the F-Tilt. Great mix-up. You've been aggressing with that back air all the time. Everybody's so scared of it, so you just wait as somebody tries to stuff it out and, uh, and go for the F-Tilt. Really, really well played from Pfeiffer and Chungus getting a little bit desperate towards the end there. Almost doing something a little bit special, but that is the first 3-0 in these